What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Animal Liquor. My name is Splatacat, and today we will make liquor out of animals. So I fixed the problem with animal saving, it was actually in the game's files. I went and I talked to, uh, Dismiss Follow. You just hang out over here, dear. You do your, are you still following me? You're still following me. Go away, dear. Go away. I don't love you anymore. There we go. Away with you! Oh, you gotta throw rocks at it until it goes off into the desert to die. Uh, I fixed the problem. I actually emailed the developer and he got back to me in like three seconds. And apparently the file where the save game goes was on read only. I turned that off. So if you're having a problem, you gotta go to your app data uh, for Creo Games, the developer that made this game. And then once you do that, uh, swap your file folder for Creo Games to not read only. So take it off of read only and it'll save your animals. Uh, he emailed me back almost instantly and that fixed it right on up. I love a developer that knows just like how to get back to you. You know what I mean? Like you tell them you got a problem and they're like, yo dog, I can help you out with that. And they make it happen. Uh, I've been chopping down trees for a little bit. Chopping dim trees, trying to make things a little bit better. I found ropes in my inventory. Apparently I moused right over them. They were at the bottom. Uh, they've got a different graphic than I thought. I thought ropes had like a circular graphic like wire did. But apparently they just look like a weird little lumpy bit. Like I said, I would like it if the uh, the UI could be about 10%, 15% larger. I don't know. I've got bad eyes, so I tend to play with the UI a little. Seriously, I'm like legally blind. I get fined a huge amount if I drive without my glasses and stuff. Like I... Super like blind. I can't see for shit. And so uh, we've got ropes right here actually seven of them And so we should be able to make the place that allows us to make more ropes Which seems like probably a good thing to focus our efforts on Because I've basically gotten all of the rope off of this map like we don't we don't have any more of that and so Making the thing that allows me to make more ropes. I think is a good idea So down here at the bottom. I think we've got a my best guess is that the weaving hut is what's going to allow me to do that. Now, we are lacking nails and we are lacking roof tiles. That makes me think that we're going to need either a brickworks because we got to work with clay. That's the thing, is in order to get roof tiles, uh, we're going to need to be able to work with clay. And so that's the part that's kind of got me interested right now in what we're going to need. And so in reality, I get the feeling we're probably going to need like all of this stuff before we go further. So, we're going to get it done. I've got 10 clay right there. I can do my well because we've got our ropes now. So, I'm going to go back and get my small stones. I'm going to go back and get uh, that slate right there. Okay, I'm going to get my large stones, my small stones, and my clay. Cool. And so, we've got that stuff. I'm going to make the well because one of the things that I'm noticing is that I drink a lot of water because I'm running all the time. And water is one of the easiest ways to restore your stamina bar. And so, I just use it like a potion for stamina, basically. And I can go through 40, 50 water pretty rapidly because I don't like moving slow. And so, I think we're going to need a location where we can get water that's a little bit closer than that city over there. I mean, it's a little hike for me to get over there. And so, I'd much rather just have the well now. And we'll deploy that. And I think the well is going to be... Yeah, there it is. Well, well, well. Uh, I'm going to put the well, looks pretty good right here, I think. There we go, and so now we've got a well, and then I can use this. This will create drinking water for me, so long as I've got empty plastic bottles. And I've got like 36 of the bastards, so I'm thinking that uh, we'll go ahead and craft those out. Now that the water's done, I've only got like 15 nails, and I'm thinking the best thing I can craft right now are a few more wooden boxes. Uh, oh, I've got 15 nails and I need 16 to make that shit. Damn. Okay, so we gotta go scavenging. We gotta go scavenging. Uh, we're gonna go to a different map today. We're gonna see if we can find some loot around. I figure you guys will probably enjoy that because exploration is a part of the game. For right now, I'm just trying to put away some of this extra stuff I have in my inventory, though, so that I can carry things around. One of the things I've noticed is that your inventory kind of fills up rapidly in this game. Luckily, we have lots of storage crates, so I don't think there's gonna be too many problems there. I will throw kind of supplementary items on this side. Uh, anything that's kind of like weird and standout-ish. A medical kit I'll bring with me. But everything else, yeah, wild seeds can go in there, I guess. Uh, looks fine to me. Plant fibers, yep. I'm gonna keep uh, logs with me because I'm more than likely going to... Let's put some of these down as well. I've got these decorative items and I don't see a reason why I shouldn't put them down. Just to like spruce the place up a little bit. Uh, we got a rocking chair right there. I don't know if it does anything. I think I just pick it up. I was hoping the rocking chair would, like, give me... If you want to move through your inventory, by the way, in case you're wondering how that works, uh, you can move through your inventory by holding down shift and then using your middle mouse button. Uh, otherwise, it just rotates items in case you were concerned about the way that that works and you couldn't get yours to function the way you wanted it to. I'm going to leave uh, my other deer over here, too, now that I've got my deer saved. And so I'm going to name this deer Rufus. Mighty Lord of the Deer. So there he is, Rufus the Deer. I don't know if he's going to be good at combat. I kind of want to bring him with me, but while we're out, the things that we're looking for... Ooh, arrows. 
Yay, I needed those. I actually needed those really badly. Yeah, we got arrows now. Hell yeah. Can I make more trank arrows? Because I want to get my fox back. Like, if I could do that while I'm out there, I would very much like to have. So what does it take to make trank arrows? Ah, it takes one tranquilizer. Good. Well, let's make trank arrows then. And then I'm just going to try and capture animals along the way, and we'll just melee anything down that tries to attack us in that fashion. But it's time for adventure. Uh, we're going to go back to Green Hill Zone. Since we already started that one off in the previous episode to find tools, Mark II, uh, we're going to go back over to Green Hills. We're going to clear that zone, see what we can find. Maybe we can get like a tiger or like a bear or something like that to defend us. I don't know, some kind of cool pet to keep us alive in case we get into a fight with some of the mutants that are around here. Those damned dirty muties. You know what? Professor Xavier was wrong. We gotta get them all. They're different from us, and therefore they must be destroyed. And just like that, we've got a fox over here. So I'm gonna get my fox back real fast. Uh, this guy foxes. There we go. And so that should be a brand new fox for us. Yep, there he is. We'll also capture that one so that I can have multiple foxes. You gotta aim center mass. Is that a male fox or a female fox? We got two male foxes. Just hanging out. Okay, that's cool. On to Green Hills! We've got foxes now. Yay. I knew I wasn't going to lose that much progress. I thought that maybe the foxes only came out at night, but nope. It looks like they just come out whenever. Uh, you can swim down to the bottom of here, and you can grab this, which is seaweed. It's a crafting item, I think. And so let me see what's going on here with seaweed. Can I eat it? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's probably a food item, but Green Hill Zone. That's what's popping today. Green Hill Zone. Welcome to Green Hill Zone. Uh, this time around... We're actually going to look, instead of just grabbing the tools and leaving, since this is a scavenging mission, what we're trying to do is get as many useful objects out of this place as we can. I'm actually going to give this place a good once- oh, there's more marble over here. I'll take some marble. Sure, I don't know when I'm going to need it, but I'll take it. On this side, we've got leather. Uh, it looks like we've got matches right there. That sounds good. Uh, matches are always nice. Being able to start your own fire without a ton of difficulty is actually- I've never seen this kind of rock before. Let me see what this has. Uh, it turns out that that was clay, which is great because I need more clay. And so we'll log that in our brains for right now. I also need nails. And so if we can pick up any of this garbage over here, I think that uh, you always get nails out of garbage. And so anything we can clean up on this side, I think is a good call for us. Can I... I was going to say, can I harvest the gravestones? That's a little dark. I don't know if I would risk it in real life. There seems like there might be some kind of karmic backlash for that. But uh, it was worth a shot in a video game, you know? What are you going to do? A few more bricks over here. I think the bricks are useful for making, like, kilns and stuff like that. And I'm interested in getting as many crafting stations up and running as I can after we get out of this place so that it's all lined up and taken care of. This building right here, there is some debris laying around. Ooh, nails and bolts. Hell yeah, 200 nails right there. Awesome, that's going to help out a ton. We've also got a locker on this side that looks like it's got bread, a water filter, salami... Okay, uh, we'll start out by eating that stuff just to get it out of our inventory so it's not taking up space. But that's a good thing. Uh, this building so far has been incredibly lucrative for us. We've gotten a lot of good things out of here. I'm going to walk this scaffold over here and make sure there's not anything laying around. It looks like this building was like half constructed and then like whatever construction firm or contractor was in charge of it just walked away. He's like, nah, I'm done. I don't want to do this. Ooh, more water filters. Bandages, that seems like a good thing to have as well, especially if they're the kind that actually get rid of like septic. Like, if it's got... You know, if it gets rid of problems like uh, infection, if they've got the antiseptic on it, that's good stuff. We've got level 2 tools right there, some more nails and bolts, hell. Yeah, I love the combination in this game of having to scavenge for things and also just being able to get stuff. Like, I like that you can craft everything, but in order to be able to craft everything, you have to go out and like explore the world and have a good time and see what it has to offer and run around and kind of look at things first uh, before you just like, ooh, garbage, yay. Four papers right there off the ground. I like the way that you have to go out and scavenge things first before you get the ability to be self-reliant. I think that makes the game a little bit more exploration-based. Like, if you've got a game where, functionally, you can just go through and craft everything th from the beginning by chopping trees and busting rocks, uh, if you can just do that from the beginning, I think it takes something away from your game, especially if you've got a game like this where they've gone out of their way to make it very expansive and large and have things all over the place that you want to look at. I think it, it hurts the game more than anything else. I really think that it does. And so I'm glad that they decided to orchestrate... Oh, are these ruins? Why are there ruins out here? Oh, that's a little curious. I wasn't expecting to find ruins. Ooh, more clay. I want this. I want this bad. Oh, no, my inventory's full. And also, that wasn't clay. No, I don't want to have a full inventory. I want to be free. I want to have... No, I want to be able to carry more things because we just got here. 
We just got here and I'm already full up. All right, I'm thinking storage medium. Ow! Oh shit, no! Go away, piggy! Bad piggy, you're a bad piggy. Uh, I don't like you because you make me wiggy. I don't know what wiggy means, but you know what? He made me it. I made up a new word for the way that pig makes me feel. What, are you serious? I oh shit, really he's bad. like right in my butthole right now. Oh my god. Ow! <laughs> I don't think they can come in the water. I think we're safe as long as we're over here. Yeah, take that. Underwater torpedoes. Yeah, dropped him. Popped him and dropped him and then I stopped him and copped him. Oh, what you got for me? A mutated DNA sample. I will take that. I'm gonna go back to base and offload some of this stuff. Maybe we'll build a few more things. I don't know. We got nails now, which means that I assume that we'll be able to do something with our time. One of my deer is missing. I don't know where she went. She wandered off. They're free-range deer, so I kind of let them do whatever they want to do. It's my problem for not being a good deer parent. I'll be honest with you. I should probably parent a little bit less dearly, but I don't know. What can we make right now? Let's go through and see what stuff is available. There's got to be like an order to everything that we can make. And so stone masonry, that requires a chisel, a sizzle even. Uh, it requires metal scraps, clay, ingots. Okay, so that one's going to be a little bit tougher. Advanced workshop is going to take 300 bricks. Good lord, it takes a full set of tools and other vice. So we're going to have to get a lot of that stuff from somewhere else. Okay. Uh, the blacksmith over here is going to require a small hammer, a maul, metal scraps. So I'm thinking we're going to have to do quite a bit more scavenging. Carpentry doesn't seem too bad, although we need a tool set 3, which is the one that hangs up on the walls of places. 30 leathers doable, 50 metal scraps is definitely not the worst I've ever seen either. The tannery requires 40 rope, which is going to be the tough part right there. The weaving hut needs roof tiles. The gardening shed requires fertile soil. The kitchen requires all kinds of stuff too. Well, at least we know we're going to be busy. That's the plus I, dude, I could have made a water pump so much easier with just metal scraps and instead I decided to make a well. It's okay, I don't regret it, I think the well looks cooler. Uh, back to Green Hill Zone, I guess. It looks to me like some of the stuff comes back uh, each time you load into the zone. Not everything, for example, like the clay's not here, but it looks like, by and large, most of the stuff comes back and so that gives us a pretty good renewable resources uh, for doing what we're gonna do over the course of the game. Ooh, more clay. Yay, clay. I can always use more clay. Clay is always a good thing. Can I pick up that skull right there and wear it like a hat? Damn it. That's all I ever wanted to do was wear... I just wanted to wear a skull like a hat. That's all that I've ever truly wanted to do. That's a sharp stone right there. I'll take that. Sharp stones are kind of useful. You can tell they're sharp stones because I got that bright yellow color. Uh, sunflowers over here, which is something we hadn't found yet. So, oh, I can't loot the sunflowers, but there's also some eggs over here? Oh, cool, we got some feathers, so we can make some arrows as well. We can make the fletching on arrows. You can actually, so for future reference, you can actually make uh, arrows with paper as well. Um, a lot of games make it so that it's required so that you have feathers. But actually, it's completely possible to do with paper. You just need something on the side of the shaft of the arrow uh, to keep it rotating properly and not going end over end. Um, it's not that difficult to do. I mean, fletching is a skill. Getting the arrow turned properly so that it's straight... I think is the harder part. Jesus Christ, that scared me. Damn, that dude is putting the whooping on us right now. I need more uh, stamina so that I can run. Can he glitch up on rocks? Hopefully not. There we go. Put that fool down. Can I get my arrows back, though? I think when he dies, my arrows just a dude. You are an ugly son of a bitch. You got some weird tyranid thing going on right now. I'm glad I killed you. For the Empire, man. For the Empire. Sometimes you gotta go. Uh, we got, oh, a cave over here. Cool. And then also some more bird eggs right there. A black tail feather. Now I gotta figure out how the ladder works. I'm gonna save first. There we go. Just in case the ladder decides to be a douche nozzle. You can never tell with ladders in video games. Sometimes they work, sometimes they do not. Looks like the ladder is mostly good for going upwards, so I'm just going to fall down in here by landing on these little scaffolds. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Take me down to the bottom. Oh, what's down in here? Is it just like a mine? So we got some timbers down in here. I would be very careful about going into location. This is the sketchiest mine I've ever seen. 
Like, legit, you really don't want to be in here. I wouldn't. I wouldn't go down in here for shit. Nope, couldn't make me. And I'm a geologist. We're supposed to go in mines and stuff, and nope. I wouldn't entertain this place for a minute. Uh, looks like we've got some kind of old chest over here. We've got a bundle of hides. Uh, looks like there's a... Hide roll right there. It's actually got kind of like a Skyrim feeling to it. We got 80 gold coins, black pearl, jade, and a couple of arrows. I can live with that. Sounds good with me. And then let's see what this is right here. It's got kind of like a red, I don't know. It's got kind of a red timber to it. So uh, I guess a red, not timber, a red uh, hue to it. So maybe it'll be something good. That turned out to be a titanium node, actually. There was titanium dust in there. Hmm. Interesting. It looks like I can farm that, too. That's probably gold, I would guess. I don't know. Let's give it a couple whacks and find out. I'm sure we're going to be building semiconductors and shit like that later on in the game, given that the booby dome seems to have some pretty high technology in it. Yeah, that was gold ore. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. I love the way that you can also loot stuff off the ground in this title. Uh, that's one of those overlooked things that I think is really awesome. Uh, some games don't have that. <laughs> And I think looting out of a chest is not nearly as fun as finding something on the ground and just picking it up when it's like a part of the environment. I can't farm the bones right there, so I can't be a bone farmer. But I would like to be someday. I don't know, farm them bones? Let's get to a high plot and see if we can see any points of interest that look awesome. Uh, so from right here, it appears to me as though we got something mafic right there. Uh, there's kind of a big rock outcrop right there that might be worth looking into with a house behind it, it looks like. And then on that side, we've got some kind of shack. And so I think I'll go over here first, and we'll tear this shack apart for whatever we can get out of it. And then we'll cut over to whatever direction that is, because I don't have a compass. And uh, once we do that, we'll see what we can get out. Ooh, more clay. What is that right there? Is that a cow? What is that? Uh, yeah, it looks like we've got a set of cows over here. My suggestion would be that that's a good idea for husbandry. We should probably pick up some cows. If I can get a male and some females, we can get milk. Uh, we can get hides. We can get all kinds of stuff from a cow. Oh, this fool's trying to fight me. Not for long, he ain't, though. Now he's unconscious as all hell. Uh, we got ourselves a Holstein cow. I don't know anything about cows. But I assume Holstein cows are maybe... Half-steen cows, whatever they are. Probably a good acquisition. Get that one too right there so we can have our own little cattle farm. I'll set it up in the back in one of those little areas with the gates. Uh, if we can find the female again. I don't know where it ran off to. Hmm, where'd you go, female? So it looks like this was an old cow field. They've actually got feed out here. Yeah, with water bottles, matches, uh, herbal seeds. Okay. I don't know what that's going to do for me, but I'll pick it on up. We got some soil over here. It looks like we got some straw. Okay. Sounds good. We got some mushrooms over here that might be useful in our crafting of cures. Because I think we're just about out of cures, actually. I think I've got more animals than I have cures at this point. Um, I'm not going to be able to tame without the cures because uh, the storyline is roughly that the animals are infected by some kind of internal parasite that's eating them from the inside out. Uh, when you saw that in the previous... Oh, there's people. Holy shit. Hopefully he doesn't care that I just shot his cows with arrows. Uh, given what I know about ranchers, though, this is probably a great way to catch a slug. Alright, got some eggs. Got a clay crate. Uh, hey, what's up, buddy? You're kind of creepy looking. What's up with those whited out eyes, homie? You might want to go see, like, a... I don't know, an optometrist or something. Can I chop this down and get in there? No, I cannot. Okay. Well, I'm going to show this guy my Viking hatchet and just let him know that if he tries to play around, he going to catch it. Uh, that cow over there is still running from us. Dude, I'm pretty sure we just picked through this guy's herd like a dick. I feel kind of like an asshole, but... Am I all out of trank arrows? Let me make a few more. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and make as many as I can make. I've got enough tranks and enough arrows to make quite a few, so that'll work. And then I'm also set up for the future. Uh, those not working? Where are my trank arrows at? How come those are not firing? There we go. Now they're working. There we go. Now we got a female cow as well. So I think our cow supplies are pretty much... Ooh, another little nest over here. A few more feathers so that I can make arrows. I think with a couple of feathers, you can make a bunch of arrows. Looks like we've got a horse ranch over there as well. I didn't realize there was going to be other sentient beings in this game. 
I thought that it was just going to be me. Oh, we got irises over here. I've already got those. Uh, take this guy's cloth. It's kind of funny that you can just roll through somebody else's shit and just, like, steal their stuff. Ooh, peppermint. Also got some logs over here. I can't take his axe, unfortunately. It looks like he's got some more feathers back here. I will take his wood pile. How's our inventory space looking good? Fantastic. Uh, that is something. I don't know what that was, but it appears to be kind of useful. I'm going to take his straw, too, because I don't want to farm it myself because I'm lazy. And there we go. Uh, apparently, he doesn't care. He's just perfectly fine with the fact that I just stole a whole bunch of his resources. Welcome to Animalica. It's a great way to steal stuff from people who probably need it for their own subsistence. Ooh, a rope. Just laying in the grass right there. Dude, I love that. I absolutely love how there's just stuff laying around like Morrowind Skywind, or, uh, Morrowind Skyrim style that you can just loot. Like Elder Scrolls style. Like, I really like that. That's a great feature. Makes it feel so much more immersive and it makes you more perceptive because you're constantly looking around and being like, oh, where is the cool stuff at? Where the cool stuff be? And I got firewood over here. A dead deer. A uh, skinning knife, actually. Good. Uh, that means we might be able to make the tannery. I don't remember what else went into the tannery, but I know we needed a skinning knife. We can also chop down this door, so I'm going to do that. Knock, knock. Home invasion. Uh, anybody got anything I can take in here? Kind of a basic bed right there. We've also got some potatoes in a sack, some tomatoes in a bag, some eggs in a pile, and a bunch of wool right there, which I hadn't even considered as an item. Good stuff. In this back area, it looks like we've got some more fertilizer. I'm not going to turn that down because we need it. Another hide roll on that side, too. Luckily, there's no law enforcement authority to get really upset about the fact that I'm just, like, taking whatever I want from these people. Oh, this guy's a pot farmer out here. This dude got weed. This dude got hella weed out here. Good lord. Well, that is a primary constituent of our tranquilizer arrows, so we might as well get the weed, too. So we got weed now. A pretty good supply of weed. It's probably, like, ditch weed. I can't imagine that he's been cultivating properly. And that, like, he's got all kinds of, like, female buds clipped and everything like that. But at the same time, it's not going to keep me from taking it either. These people are just leaving their piles of firewood out all over the place. You guys got to do better about this. Organizational skills are lacking on the part of these villagers. I'm going to scale this mountain. See if I can get a better view on any points of interest, too. Because from where we were at, I love the way if you look right there, you can always tell where the boat is at because it puts up such a big steam cloud. Uh, that's a very, I'm sorry, good, such a good, like, coal cloud. So there's a little logger's cabin up there. And then there seems like a big settlement over there. So I'm going to go look. As I understand it, you're able to find, like, NPCs that will, like, trade with you. Like, Minecraft style. You can, like, sell them stuff. Ooh, dandelions. I needed that for more cures. I will take dandelions. Absolutely. Snake weed. I don't know what a snake weed is, but... I get the weirdest feeling that maybe snakes live inside of it, so we'll just pick that one up and run. I don't mess around with snakes, bro. Snakes are terrifying. Before we got to the other location, it looks like there's also some kind of building in progress over here. It looks like somebody started to do something. I don't know. Maybe it's just like a gallows thing. I don't really, I don't really know. What is that? I guess it's the remnants of a house that got buried. Ooh, roof tiles. I like roof tiles. Roof tiles are good. I need those for a bunch of my buildings, so if I can get a few more of those, it's a good day for me. Steal their nuts and bolts, too, because I'm an asshole. I'm an asshole, I'm an asshole, I'm an asshole, I'm the world's biggest asshole. That's basically what this is, like asshole simulator. Asshole in the woods simulator. How much of other people's stuff can you wiggle into your pockets before they catch you? So here's that big settlement. I'm really hoping we can get some good stuff out of here. So what's up this tower right here? Um, looks like we got a walkway right here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save before I go down just in case I fall. I'm a little worried about that. Well, we caught the ladder on the way down. The ladders definitely need some work. Is this dude a bandit? What's up with this guy? He's got a bow. What is that? Oh, shit. It's like a mutated human. I don't know how I feel about this. Got him. Oh, yeah. He's got problems. I'm going to get my arrow back. We got metal shards and gold coins off of him. Okay. Well, apparently there are bandit settlements, too, where people are just kind of dicks and will attempt to attack you every time they see you. Uh, what is this? That is just sticks and plant fibers. Okay. Get some more. We got a soda from there. We got a couple more pallets. Can't harvest that wheel right there. Doesn't look like I can harvest anything from this side. I will take all this other stuff, though. Ah, we ran out of space. Ran out of space right when we get to the good stuff, like always. 
Are there any more of these guys over here? Doesn't look like it. Well, I don't have any problem with looking around a little bit more. The roof tiles are what I'm really interested in. If I can get some of those, that'd be... Oh shit, that guy's got a battle axe! Like hell you do, Conan the Barbarian! This dude thinks he's hard as hell. He ain't. I'm gonna get my arrows back. Yup. Still just as tranquilizing as ever. Knocked on out. I do want metal scraps. No Ooh, that. there's the hammers and stuff that we needed. So there's a small hammer and there's a mallet here. Ooh, we need this. We need this really badly. So I'm actually pretty inclined to throw stuff out that I already have enough of. Stuff like sticks. Um, I would get rid of that. I would get rid of the... We can eat the tomatoes. We've got a skinning knife. This was actually a pretty productive run for us. Um, we've got firewood. I don't think I really need that. I'll probably get rid of it so that I can pick up the maul and the hammer. There we go. Now I think we've got some of the stuff that we need in order to make the blacksmithy. Um, that'll help out a bunch too. Got some more logs over here, but I'm thinking I'm probably just going to truck it back on home. Uh, we did a pretty good job at, I guess, molesting this place as much as possible and taking everything they had. Uh, that's 40 more roof tiles, even better. Let me check around the back of some of these buildings and see if they got more roof tiles because that's one of those reagents that I can't manufacture and so getting enough of them will mean in a lot of ways that I can actually build new crafting stations so that I don't need to scavenge quite as much which is a primary motivator for me right now. It's a big motivator. Uh, dead deer on that side. I'll go ahead and take the deer stuff. Let's go back to base and we'll see what we can do with what we've picked up so far. We got another watchtower over here. Hmm... Oh, well, we might as well look. There might be some more nuts and bolts and whatever else up here. Oh, yeah, there's one right there. Got him. Knocked out. Jesus. Well, these guys aren't too tough, so I'm not quite as worried about them. So apparently we're like in a medieval world I'm where everybody's a things. dick. Uh, I got gold coins right there, and he's got steel ingots. I might end up needing those later. I can get mutated DNA samples whenever I want them by just going to a monster nest. So I'll throw those out, too. Let's go up and see what he's got happening in here. It's kind of weird. Like the different either or the different islands have different like things. tech levels. You know what I mean? Like our island has a bunch of like modern military base type stuff, and this island seems like it's mostly medieval. And so I don't really know what to think of the storyline and the setting so far. It's crazy. I, I really do think they did a solid job with this game. This really came across my desk and I was like, oh good, another half-baked survival game. And so I went through and I started playing and it's actually been a really good experience. This is a remarkable first attempt at making a game. Like, survival developers, there are little like hitches and kinks to this game with like the movement and the animations and stuff like that. But by and large, people releasing games on Steam that are of the survival genre can really take hints from this game. Like, yes, it's a little bit farmy, and you do need a lot of stuff to do, like, simple things, but at the same time, this game is packed with content for a first version 1.0, like, alpha, you know what I mean? Like, it's very rare that I see a game that actually puts out as cogent as an effort uh, as this one. Like, it just doesn't happen. I play a lot of survival games here on the internet, and it does not occur. Uh, my deer over there is walking on her face. Fantastic. As I'm singing and extolling the virtues of the game. Uh, this game is called Animalica. In the next episode, we'll go ahead and take a look and see what we can accomplish with the things that we have available to us. I'm of the opinion that we should be able to do some kind of crafting down here. And make some kind of, like, blacksmith. Uh, we need timbers. We need metal scraps and bricks. But I think we have all those things. It's just I need to get them all together. In between episodes, I'm going to organize my inventory and put things where they need to go. And then we will do the next episode where we start building up some of the cool stuff that we can make inside Animalica. Thank you for joining me. If you want to get the game, look down below. That's the place where you can get it. Uh, if you like what I do here on the internet, check out the Patreon. It's a great way to support me. I will see you all later. Thanks for stopping in, everybody, and hi-do.